morning. Good morning. Oh, I gotta get our camera right. There we go. Oh, come on. Oops, sorry. Come on. All right. Good morning. Today is Total Healing Thursday. Thank you all so much for joining. God bless you. Let's do some shout outs and then we're going to get started this morning. Good morning, Cousin Faye. Cousin Faye's going to need a lot of a lot of prayer for healing when the bugs get done with her, her saints. But good morning to you, Cousin Faye. Uh, good morning, Carmen. Uh, good morning, Natasha. Good morning, Deacon Daryl. Cousin Beth, good morning to you. Uh, Brenda, good morning. I hope you're feeling better. Uh, good morning, yes. Miss Alma. Uh, good morning. Let me see. Uh, good morning, everyone. I, I the same one. Yeah, you talk for a minute. <laughs> I'm so glad to see you guys this morning. I, Thank you for joining us. Winning in the Word. Prayer Thursday. Hallelujah. All our agreement together, there will be victory. No, I didn't start it over. It, it went there. All right. All right. Good morning, Miss Tay. Good morning, Ulyssa. Good morning, Annie. Good morning, Cynthia. Good morning, Joan. Good morning, Amanda. Good morning, Rita. Uh, good morning, Miss Robos. Good morning, Ashley. Good morning, Jeremiah. Good morning, Pastor Bazaar, you and your wife. Good morning, Shanika. Good morning, Tony and Haiti. Good morning, Lakeisha. Good morning, uh, Chip, you and Paula. Good morning, Madeline. Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning, uh, Natasha. Good morning, Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Good morning, uh, Keita. Good morning, Miss Johnson. Good morning, uh, uh, Miss Patty. Good morning. Oh, we got someone new here. How do you say her name? Yeah. Right there. Uh, Shamara. Shamara, Welcome. good morning to you. There's another new one. Is that me? A guard. A guard, good morning to you. Uh, Natifa, good morning to you. Uh, good morning, good morning. Let's pray today is Healing Thursday. Um, I got something I want to cover today, and then we're going to pray for the, for the people. But let's pray real quick. Father God, we thank you, Lord, for this day. Yes. We thank you, Father, for your word. We thank you, Lord, for um, revelation knowledge, Lord to come to the hearers today of your word, Father. We thank you, Father, that it is only us um, not receiving your word that can stop the word of God from coming to pass because your word cannot fail. Your word cannot come up short. Your word does not have lack in it. Your word does not have defeat in it. Your word is victorious. Mm -hmm. Your word is more than enough, Father. So I thank you, Father, for your word. And I thank you, Lord, that as we get a better understanding and then a better revelation of your word, Father, we'll walk in the victory in which you've called us to walk in. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. So today I want to just talk about, you know, I actually talked about this last night in church. Uh, we had a really, really good time um, in church last night. And I didn't talk about it in this way. Um, but what I want to talk about is, you know, we have a better covenant with God. Um, you know, in the Old Testament, um, the Old Testament covenant was really written to the Jews, to the Jews. Um, and it was all about works in the law. It was all about works in the law. You know, you got to do this, you got to do that. And then God's going to do this and God's going to do that. I want to just tell you today that a lot of Christians, the reason why you see um, a lot of Christians still struggling in what they struggle in is because they don't understand the covenant that they're under. We are under the covenant of righteousness mm -hmm. through Christ Jesus. We are under the covenant of righteousness through Christ Jesus. What does that mean? That word righteous means right standing with God. The reason most people can't receive their healing is because they're so guilty of their past and they're so guilty of their sin they don't even believe that God can heal them. They don't even believe they're worthy of healing because they think their actions have disqualified them from receiving what God has for them. Now, I want to share this with you, and I really want you to just listen to me really good because I want to say something to you that I don't want you ever, ever to forget. If your actions qualify you to receive healing, then that means you have disqualified 
the power of God. Let me say that again. If your actions, what you do relative to good and bad, qualify you to be healed, then you've disqualified the power of God. Because there's nothing greater than the blood of Jesus. Amen. The only qualification we have to receive the promise is to believe. The only qualification we have to receive the promise is to believe. Now, where the grace, grace people and the people that slid off the toast miss it, they say, well, then now we don't need to go to church. Now we don't need to do this. Now we don't need to do that. That's not true. Because the new covenant requires believing. The new covenant requires faith. And the Bible says faith comes by hearing, not by heard. So it requires us to continue, continually hear the word of God so that not that our faith can be built up, but our doubt and our unbelief can be peeled away, can be peeled away. Because you can't turn the dark off, but you can turn the light up. And as you turn the light up of God's word in you, whatever doubt is in you will be eliminated. It will be eradicated. Yeah, I also was just sitting here thinking when you were saying that, you know, the Bible said, how can you hear without a preacher? I think a lot of times we get lost because we hear all these different people right. speaking God's word when God has sent forth people to do that. And it's very important that that's why you need to come to church and listen and, and, and hear from a preacher as well. Yeah, every, like every, and everybody who says they are, aren't. Just because somebody says they're a preacher, that doesn't mean they are. They're anointed to do it. Yeah, that's right. You know, when you look at our ordination papers, it's not a degree. It is a it is a mandate. It is a declaration from a man or woman of God that we have went through what we need to go through to qualify for our our calling. Uh, uh, you know, to, to, to be called by God is not a degree. I mean, yeah, you need to get some teaching and learning, but but you it, your calling needs to be proven. That's what the Bible says. So I want to read this to you in the Passion Translation. It's quite a long scripture, so I want to read this to you. It's an account of Jesus um, and, 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 and this boy uh, that he encountered. But I want you to observe two things that happen in here. Um, it's at Mark chapter 9, verse 17 to 25 in the Passion. It says, And the man spoke up out of the crowd, and he said, Teacher, I have a son possessed by demons that makes him mute. I brought him here to you, Jesus. Whatever the, whenever the demon comes and takes control of him, it knocks him down and he foams at the mouth and he gashes at the teeth and his body becomes stiff and stiff as a board. I brought him to the disciples hoping they could deliver him, but they were not able to do that. Jesus said to the crowd, Jesus said to the crowd, why are you such a faithless people? Why are you such a faithless people? How much longer must I remain with you and put up with your unbelief? He says, bring the boy to me now. So they brought the boy to Jesus. So they brought him to Jesus. As soon as the demon saw it, he threw the boy into convulsions. He fell to the ground, rolling around, foaming at the mouth. Uh, and then Jesus turned and asked the father, how long has your son been tormented like this? And the father said, since childhood, he replied, it tries to take over his body and kill him by throwing him into the fire and by throwing him into the water. He says, but please, if you are able to do something, anything, have compassion on us and help us. Now watch what Jesus said. The father said, if you're able to do anything, help us have compassion on us. Watch what Jesus said. And Jesus said unto him, what do you mean? Question mark. What do you mean? If you are able to believe, all things are possible to the believer. Talked about this yesterday in church. We're not called to live a perfect life. We're called to live a life of believing. And when we start believing like God tells us to believe, then our life will get perfect. But as long as we're trying to obtain perfection through our works and not through faith, we'll never be perfect. 
Why? Because our works will always come back to haunt us because we are not perfect. Amen. But when we do it through our faith, our believing scriptures will always come back to haunt us in a good way. They will propel us to believe more. Watch this. Uh, after that, Jesus said, when he heard this, the boy's father cried out saying, I do believe, Lord, help my little faith. I do believe, Lord, help my little faith. And then in verse 25, Jesus says this. Now, when Jesus saw the crowd quickly gathering larger, he commanded the demon saying, death and mute spirit, watch this, I command you to come out of him and never enter him again. Now, it's important that you hear the never enter him again part. When Jesus heals you, receive your whole and your complete healing. When Jesus heals you, when Jesus heals a situation, when Jesus fixes something, receive the whole Amen. and complete healing. Say it with me. It is done. It is done. Don't worry about a relapse. Don't worry about a comeback. Don't worry about if, because if you start worrying about that, that's evidence of doubt and unbelief. And the book of Job said, what you worry about, what you fear most will come upon you. So we give an understanding today that our healing and us receiving healing from God is about us truly understanding the new covenant. That it is God's power. It is the blood of Jesus yes. that qualifies everything we do. And the activator to that power is our words. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah, I think it's Isaiah 54, my word cannot go forth and come back vain, void, or non-productive. Not producing, but it must accomplish everything in which we send it forth to prosper. And child of God, I just want to tell you that God loves you. God has healing power in his word. God can do all things. I don't care what the situation and the yes, circumstances yes, look yes, like. Yes. God can do all it. Things. Just believe. Stop allowing condemnation to come on your heart. Stop allowing worry to come into your heart. But pastor, it comes. I feel condemned, but pastor, worry comes. You got to get the word on your mouth. When it comes, speak God's word, and it will stop coming. Also, uh, in our Bible study with Pastor uh, Derba, Pastor one day on Tuesday, uh, he was talking about in the natural. God will meet you at your point of faith. Right. Instead of sitting and worrying and, and thinking about how you feel, work to be whatever it takes to be normal. Right. Because he's going to meet you at that point of your faith. Right. So I thought that was and, really and, and, and what is the work? What is the labor of what she's talking about? Saying God's word. Studying God's word. Believing God's word. The more you say it, the more you're going to believe it. And not laying in the bed yeah. and just sulking. Yeah. Try to live life as normal as possible. And he'll meet you because that's faith. Right. To give him say, I can cook this meal. Right. I'm, I'm going to work today. Right. And Even if you're feeling bad, right. I can do this. You, I can do this. Amen. So let's just pray today. Father, we thank you, Lord, today for, for, for this day. We thank, thank you, Father, for prayer Thursday. Um, Lord, we just lift up Michael Burns to you right now, Father God. We thank you, Father God, that uh, Lord, he's out of the hospital. We just thank you, Father, for a praise report. I thank you, Father, that he is totally healed from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet, every yes. cell, every tissue, every organ, Father. Yes. We thank you for it. Lord, we lift up bond to you right now. Uh, we come in agreement with Miss Sydney for healing for his total body. Yes. Lord, we set forth your word from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. We declare he is healed yes. right now in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Father, we lift up Lawanda to you today. Is that right? Lawanda. Lawanda. Yes. We thank you, Father, for Lawanda right now, uh, specifically for her 17-year-old son, Father. Yes. We just thank you, Father, and sent forth ministering angels yes. uh, to send anointed soul winners across his path, Father God. To just, Lord, allow you, Father, uh, to, to, to have people with wisdom, people with character, and people with the word of God cross his path to minister to him. We thank you, Father, that he is whole right now in his mind, in his body, and in his spirit. Yes. 
in Jesus' name. Lord, we lift up Angela to you right now. Uh, Angela Hughes, Father God. We thank you for health, Father, yes. for safety. We thank you, Father, for salvation. We come in agreement right now, Father, for household salvation. Yes. Your word says that we can believe you for household salvation. We thank you for that right now, Father God. We thank you, Father, and we bind drug addiction right now. In the name of Jesus, right we thank you, Father, that, that, that drug addiction has no place in this family, Lord. And we just lift her up in Jesus' name. Lord, I lift up Erica to you right now, Father. I thank you, Father, for her healing in her physical body. I thank you, Lord, from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet, every cell, every tissue, every organ in her body, Father God is operating to the perfect perfection in which you've called it to operate. Lord, I lift up Miss Brenda to you, Brenda Jackson, right now, Father. Uh, Lord, I thank you, Father, that you give the doctors wisdom uh, to, to identify exactly what is ailing her body, Lord. And once we know that, Lord, we thank you, Father, that she has the faith, Father, to believe your word. Yes. Through Jesus Christ, she is healed in the name of Jesus. Yes. Lord, I thank you for the healing that you performed on my cousin Beth, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that she is healed. She is whole, yes. Father God. Thank I thank you, Father God, that there, there are no relapses, Father. There's no, no side effects, Father. I thank you that you make her better than she was before the yes. devil tried to yes. attack her, Lord. Thank you. I thank you she's healed. Thank she's you, whole. Father, I thank you for the winning in the word family this morning. I thank you, Lord, for every person that watches the broadcast. Lord, I thank you for their households right now. Father, I speak peace in their households right now. Father, I speak deliverance in their households right now. Lord, I speak prosperity into their households yes. right now. Wherever there's lack, Father, if there's lack of peace, I declare you show up. If there's lack of love in their house, Father, yes. I declare you show up. Lord, if there's lack of unity in their house, I declare you show up. Father, I declare unity uh, in their households right now, Father God, everyone who is connected with this ministry, I call forth unity in their households. Lord, if there's lack financially, Lord, I thank you that you said wealth and riches are in our house. So I declare wealth and riches in their houses right now, Father God. Lord, I thank you, Father. Promotion is coming. Thank you, I thank you, Father God. Unexpected income yes. is coming, I'm Father God, God, right now. Yes. I declare the favor of God is on everything they put their hands to. And Lord, I thank you most of all for, for again, all the hearers and doers, Father, yes. of your word. Yes. We lift them up. Thank and Lord, we believe that we receive yes. the things that we say, not by what we do, but because of what the blood of yes. Jesus yes. has done. Thank and has purchased for thank us. You, we thank you for it now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 If you agree with us, just hit the agree button. Thank you so much for joining. I hope today clarified some things. You're under a new promise. You're under a greater promise. Take a minute. Listen, don't forget we got our Christmas party coming up December the 5th. Man, we haven't had many of the winning in the word folks sign up. Sign up, man. Come to Daytona Beach for a night. Spend the night with us, man. It's going to be great. It's a Sunday evening. Man, we got, if you want to get a room, we even have a discount on rooms. I think it's $129. But listen to the listen to what Jeremiah is saying. Please, if you want to come register, uh, all you got to do is go right to the link. Register online, man, and we're set. Amen. We love you. We love you. We love you. And if you financially support us in any way, we're going to pay for half of the cost. It's fifty only $50 a person if you financially support the ministry. So we love you, we love you, we love you. And until tomorrow, Financial Friday, Pastor Nick, Pastor Franny saying, enjoy life. Good morning, Winning in the Word family. I'm Jeremiah, and on behalf of Pastor Nick, Pastor Franny, and all of us at LTM, you, yes, you, are invited to the LTM event of the year. On December 5th, 2021, Life Transforming Ministries is going to Daytona Beach. This Christmas season, we're headed to the beautiful Hard Rock Cafe in Daytona Beach, Florida. And you, our Winning in the Word, faithful viewers and supporters are invited to join us. We will eat like royalty with a gourmet buffet. We'll have fun and fellowship, and then we're gonna dance the night away. This extravagant event is just 100 bucks to attend, but for you, our faithful, giving, winning in the word family, we want to be a blessing to you with a 50% discount. 
So come on, come all to the LTM Christmas party at the Hard Rock. Sign up now at ltmorlando.org forward slash Christmas. We'll see you there.